This is a continuation of the distillation problem. Here, we're looking for the temperature of the reboiler and the composition of the vapor, assuming the pressure is one atmosphere absolute. So let me draw the picture again and show you what it is that we're looking for. So what we're looking for is this part of the problem. And because the liquid and the vapor are in equilibrium, we can therefore use Raoult's law. So again, we know that the partial pressure of the pentane has to equal the liquid mole fraction times the vapor pressure at the temperature that we're looking for, as well as the hexane partial pressure has to equal the mole fraction of the liquid in of the hexane times the vapor pressure of hexane at the temperature that we're looking for. So we know that y sub p times p plus y sub h times p equals the total pressure. The sum of the partial pressures is going to equal the total pressure. And then we can substitute that this equals x sub p times p star at the temperature that we're looking for plus x sub h times p star at the temperature that we're looking at. So we found earlier that this xp was 0.04, therefore the xh is 0.96. So let's write this out. 0 0.04, that's the x sub p, times 10 to the 6.85221 minus 1064.63 divided by the T that we're looking for, plus 232. So that's the X sub P, P star of T. This all has to equal 760 millimeters of mercury because that's the pressure. So remember again, you're going to have to use some kind of solver. The temperature equals 66.6 degrees C. So how is that going to help us find the composition of the vapor, again, assuming the pressure is 1 atmosphere? Well, again, we're going to use Raoult's law. So the composition of the vapor, the Y sub P, is going to equal our X sub P, P star at 66.6 degrees C, divided by the total pressure, which is 760. And what we do is we use Antoine's equation right up here, and we substitute for T, we substitute 66.6 degrees C, and that allows us to find the vapor pressure at that temperature. So this is 0 0.04 times 1905.5 millimeters of mercury divided by our 760 millimeters of mercury, and that's going to equal 0 0.101. We can also find our Y sub H because that equals 1 minus 0 0.101 or 0.899. And you would expect these kind of numbers because we had much higher mole fractions in the liquid that came off of the top.